so it has been a while since I've posted anything that is not church related because really that's all I've been really doing. Um, it's hot in Florida, like with humidity feels like it's about 105, 106, which because of the humidity actually feels like it is more than 120. Um, you know, I've, I've been in 120 with low humidity and I would prefer that over this any day. I'll be honest. Um, it's not to say that it's not hot, but you, uh, you keep bottles of water on you and you're okay. Um, with the heat that we have in Florida, man, you can take a shower, go outside and you're already just sweaty and disgusting and you can't get rid of it. You know, like it's just, it's the sweat is on you and it doesn't go away. You can have a towel, wipe it off. It just is right back in two seconds. Case in point, this past weekend, um, and while I do this, I actually, I got some fun things. So side note, I am, I love, my hair is crazy. Um, so my wife actually cut my hair yesterday because she's got skills. Um, but it's crazy because I haven't done anything and I just jumped in the shower. Anyway, so Wazoo. I, I love Wazoo. And I've had this for, I don't even know, years, like um, maybe four or five years. So much so that the leather, the nice leather that normally comes with it, I it snapped. I did not take care of it. I used it. Um, so I've, I've got it on a different piece of leather, but here's the fire starter, which I love. Um, I think it's actually a lot of fun to use to get out there and I'm ready for this. I'm going to start a fire in my house, but to hold it, do, 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 create a spark. So yeah, and it's, it's warm. Um, Anyway, so I find that a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to use. Um, I've not actually been able to start a fire with it because, again, Florida, hot sauna. Um, but I did get in some new fun things with my my monthly shopping fun. So I got the, the Viking Whetstone, which I am super, super excited about. I've been wanting this for a long time. And I love, I, I do everything through Amazon. I know it's terrible. Um, but Wazoo, they have lots of things that are, <clears throat> excuse me, on Amazon. So yay, Amazon Prime. Anyway, so <sighs> taking a break from my work day, I actually, I was laid off from my job in April and I've gotten, I was hired almost a month ago with a new company, um, back to managing, which thank God for that. Once, once you've been a manager, it's hard to not, and you know, having your position eliminated and trying to think of what else can you do. I just, when it comes down to it, I like empowering and coaching others. Um, now I'm at a company that it's the management, management job is more director VP level because there's a lot of stuff that has to be created. That's usually not at a manager level. So I'm not managing, I'm actually directing and VPing. So anyway, I'm going to sharpen a couple knives. I've got this fun little one. This is just a Cobalt Home Depot Lowe's special. But I also have, and where's where's my baby? I've lost it already. It's somewhere in this office. Here it is. So this is my Ontario Knife Company. This is my, I guess it's like an E, what is it? The EES3, but just a little knife use it. I usually have it on my hip when I go anywhere. This is the Rat 3. It's got a good, good handle. Feels good, you know, when I use it. If I flip it, doesn't matter. But um, when I'm scraping, when I'm doing something, it has a really good feel to it. So I'm going to sharpen these today because it's been a minute. Um, so now this is the first time I've ever been using this ever. Really, I've never had one. So, and I know then YouTube videos that I've seen, because that's how I learn, because it's hot in Florida and we're not gathering with the Florida Bushcraft group, also pandemic. So, but I wanted to learn so that I could do it on my own. And they, you know, it's a whetstone. So I'm going to like, I'm going to put it in water to get some, just some stuff on there. Um, and I haven't used this for anything. I don't think I have... 
I love my computer. I need to let it not go to sleep. So I've got some residue on the side and I watched a video this morning where a guy was just like sharpening up but getting the residue off. And that really works. Look at people knowing things. So, and you can actually, it's, it's a lot smoother. And he said, you do it at the same angle. You don't ever do it 90 degrees. You want it more at like a 45, 50 degree. And you can use this end or this end or the long end. I, I actually like this end right here. It's more of a comfortable ergonomic angle for me. So I'm going to get the residue off. Feels like a totally new knife. And then, as they've said, you just kind of, we'll see how that does. I've never done this before. So he said that um, hold your knife, and, or you can do this, but you want to get your knife here, but you just follow the angle. And I don't know if I've ever sharpened this knife. So this is me learning. Thank you for joining me. I also like watching people like Greg Ovens and, you know, those folks when they sharpen their knives, you can tell they've been doing it for a very long time. Um, so I'm going to flip it over. And so when I'll be honest, and if you know, and you can teach me when people rub their knives, on a nail, what is it supposed to feel like? I have no idea. But that feels like it's getting sharper, so it's doing something. I have no idea. I hope I'm doing it right. Not so bad. Huh. So anyway, I'm going to continue doing this. I, you know, I also, so I said I got presents, right? I, um, my pocket bellows. I'll be honest. The first one, I had to get this again. Um, the first one I got, I put in my sack right so i put it in my sack after using it works amazingly um makes restarting a fire um that much more simpler but i put it in a bag and it fell out somewhere in my house i have two cats and a dog it's gone forever so w the one in here i'm gonna you know i'm not gonna lie it's not the official from this company um it works the same. It's great. But, you know, Amazon had like six for $10 and really I just needed something um, so I could put in my different bags and just have one in my car. I'm that person. But what I'm really excited about, my bear bowl. Um, I am super excited about having this. I'm actually going to use it. So I don't know if y'all have ever used them. So it opens up like this and it just wipes off really quickly, but you put it together and you've got yourself. Womp womp. Nah, I'm not going to put it together now, but you got yourself a bowl. And with the bottom part, you can put it on a little stove. So I've got a little wood gas stove. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to use it tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to heat up some soup and see how that goes. So anyway, I'm going to continue sharpening my knives. This is my baby. I've never really, I've never used her for anything else. So, um, outside of outside, I've not used her for, uh, opening boxes. So there's no residue. She, uh, she doesn't get used for anything but outside stuff. So wood, but, um, I was trying to cut like feather sticks that was a joke because she's not sharp and I'm, I'm a bad person i don't i need to get better in practice at sharpening things um 
So again, my computer's falling asleep because why wouldn't it? So um, what are y'all doing this weekend to get outside? I, if you're, if you know Florida, um, I'm actually going to Wiki Wachi this weekend. Go hiking, go camping. Just kidding. We're going kayaking and I'm going to swim because I love springs. Um, but I, you know, I got to get outside. And then I think we're going to try to go with the in-laws and head up to Rainbow River. They have a spring up there that you can kayak and swim. Uh, perfectly clear. I love that. Um, I really would love to get an Itchituckney trip in. And if you've never, if you've never heard of the Itchituckney, I need you to Google it right now and just open that in your life because the Itchituckney, huge spring fred river, right? And there's, there, you know, how many alligators? Because normally you think Florida, obviously if there's a body of water, we have alligators, no alligators. Um, it's too cold. <laughs> it's like 72 degrees. Um, so once you get used to jumping in and your body is no longer yelling at you and protesting being in the water, that's the other part. My, that's sharp. Um, so that was fun. I guess I should dry this, huh? So anyway, um, it's a Tutney, beautiful place. I don't think I've ever actually tubed it. You know, a lot of people get a tube and just tube it. I will be honest, I swim in. I get, you know, I love having a mask and a snorkel. Um, I went to camp up there and the camp's director, um, her husband used to take us in the van and get tubes and we ride, get there. He would always snorkel it, right? And he would always find something. So whether it was, there was one year, that man, he found 20 bucks in the Itchituckney. 20, 20 bucks. And this was probably in in the 90s. And so what did he do with it? On our way back to camp, we stopped at the Swanee Swifty. Y'all, he got us all of the candy ever because kids and candy on, it's a girl's camp. So girls and candy. And, um, and then we stopped and we got a boatload of boiled peanuts. And if y'all have never had a boiled peanut, I'm sorry, you're missing out. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I'm so excited about this. I love my Viking whetstone already. I'm going to be that person. I'm going to wear it everywhere that I go. So anyway, those are my adventures. Um, my toys, putting together and organizing all of my survival stuff on my, this shelf. There we go. Right there. So I've cleared off two shelves and I've got like a lot of my camping gear that I take, um, whether, you know, I haven't ever gone backpacking that is going to happen. Hopefully I would like it to happen this year. Once it cools off, go down to Mayaka, um, see if there are folks that want to socially distance and do a little backpacking trip and fishing trip. Um, but my wife likes to do glamping. So she likes, you know, the, uh, <laughs> she loves air mattresses. And make sure I'm still there. She loves air mattresses and, you know, where you park and unload. Park and unload. So uh, we have lanterns and all that, all the fun gear that you have when you're doing like a social camping trip. Um, in my closet, I have all of my backpacking, my hammock, um, an ultra, vi ultra vital, outdoor vital. Wow, my brain today. Outdoor vitals, um, blow up pillow because I like pillows, gotta be comfortable. But everything that is small enough to pack um, and then lots of dried stuff. So anyway, I hope that you guys are having a great day. Let me know what you're doing to get outside, um, what recommendations you have for day trips here in Florida, if you have them now that we're starting to hopefully get out of this, oh my God, sauna summer, get into September, October, November, and hopefully cool down soon. Anyway, um, I will hopefully have more videos. I'm going to take the GoPro this weekend as we go kayaking and wiki watchy. Hopefully there's some animals, some manatees, fun stuff like that. But get outside, have fun, build community, and I will catch you all next time. Have a great day, y'all.